Today we're in Numbers chapter 20, and it's an interesting story of, well, the Israelites there at Kadesh, they're camped, and there's no water. And boy, they begin to complain, they begin to murmur, uh, and several different things happen during this time frame that are very significant and very impacting for the people of Israel and Moses. First of all, in this time frame, in chapter 20, his sister Miriam dies, and she's buried there in that area. Not only that, but later Aaron, his brother, also dies in the same place. And as the children of Israel are complaining and murmuring, they have no water, they want to go back to Egypt where they're slaves, God speaks to Moses. Moses cries out to him, asks for help, and listen to what the Lord says to Moses. I'm reading from Numbers chapter 20, and it says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Take the rod and your brother Aaron, gather the congregation together, speak to the rock before their eyes, and it will yield its water. Thus you shall bring water from out of the rock and give drink to the congregation and their animals. So God says, go speak to the rock. Aaron hasn't passed yet, but he dies later in the chapter. Now here's what happens. They take the rod, Aaron and Moses go to the rock, and instead of just speaking to the rock and speaking to the people. Look, listen to what he says. They gathered the assembly together before the rock and said to them, Hear now, you rebels. He, he kind of yells at them. Must we bring water for you out of this rock? He's mad. And he lifted his hand and struck the rock twice with his rod, and water came out abundantly, and the congregation and their animals drank. They got the water, but Moses didn't follow God's instructions, and he didn't obey what he told him to do. He, instead of speaking, he spoke harshly to the people, and he struck the rock, and out of it came water. And God, well, there's consequences. This is the principle of this passage. There's consequences for disobedience and consequences for not following what the Lord calls you to do. It doesn't mean Moses is kicked out of heaven or Moses is not going to be there. But God doesn't let Moses go into the promised land because he misrepresented him. You know, God has a plan for our lives. And you and I can, well, we can stagnate that plan. We can cause it not to be completely fulfilled. Moses is a picture. In fact, the Lord says to Moses, Because you did not believe me to hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel, you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. So Moses no promised land for you, no complete fulfillment. You're going to be used by me. You're going to be my guy. But you know what? You disobeyed. And there are consequences. You know, you can, you can get saved, you can follow the Lord, and you can go down the path of disobedience that can keep you from completing all that God had for you. That's what happened to Moses, used greatly, but never entered the promised land. Disobedience and misrepresenting the Lord kind of brought an abrupt end, if you will, to the leadership of Moses.